Excellent morning, boys and girls. Ah, <laughs> why did you drop it back now? Uh -huh. What's the problem? Can you see where I was moving at the speed of light? Like Nigerian Flash? Don't you know I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Flash? Uh, what is wrong with this person? See, I was just enjoying myself, you know, moving myself from left to right, right to left, and you are coming to draw me back. Don't draw me back the next time, uh, I see do you. That is see, I was moving at the very fast speed. And guess what? I have a bicycle. Mm -hmm. I have a bicycle. And one day, I was speeding. I was running very, very fast, eh? Oh! In fact, speed is interesting. Ah, speed is interesting. And that's why when you now drew me back, I was now like, why draw me back now? Why draw me back? Learning is fun. Learning is what? Fun. Learning is what? Fantabulous, fantabulous, fantabulous. You are doing well, you are doing well. Alright, now let us proceed. Okay, let's proceed. Today we're going to be talking about something that I was. <laughs> I like to play. I won't lie. I like to play. Because when I was smaller, I played very well. Eh? Ha! I was, in fact, I was play champion. When I was a little boy, I played, oh my goodness, especially football. I so much loved football, oh my goodness, that a lot of the times I ended up enjoying my leg. That's just why I'm not talking about myself, alright? So, I'm, I'm, that, I'm not saying that playing is not bad. Now, what is speed? We're going to look at today, we're going to have speed, distance, and time. What did I say? Speed, distance, and time. Again, speed, distance, and what? Time. Now, the truth is, some of us, in one way or the other, we must have done this topic before. Or we must have heard of it before, somewhere, somehow, I don't know. But well, I am of the opinion that it will be your, in fact, all the books I'm teaching you is not the first time I've heard of it. You must have heard of it at some point. Okay, so now what is speed? Now, speed is the rate at which anything is moving. You see, that was moving very flash, very fast, like flash. And if I was not moving very, very fast, I can be moving. Monday we go to school, Tuesday we go. Am I moving fast? No. But when I have. Whoa! I am moving very, very fast. I mean, isn't it? Uh -huh. So, when we say the rate, when we say what? The rate at which anything is moving. What we are trying to say is that that particular thing is it moving fast or slow? That reminds me of the of the story of tortoise and the hare. We all know the story of tortoise and the hare that that the hare was very very fast, and then when the race started, the the, the hare ran. Then when it now ran very far, it now stopped and looked at the tortoise and said. Thought this is very, very far away. We all know the end of the story now. At the end of the day, Thotis won the race. Even though he was moving slowly and slowly and slowly. A lot of the time he passed the hair sleeping. And he abandoned the hair. Like I always say, slow and steady wins the race. But it does not apply in Formula One sport though. Ah no. You know, we said slow and steady always wins the race. Well, sometimes it does not apply in Formula One sports. If you don't know what Formula One sports is, Formula One sports is this car racing. Car racing. If you used to watch car racing on TV, you see they move at a very fast speed. 
But you realize that even the and it's true, sure, the person that even wins that race has to be steady and consistent, you know, maneuvering everything because at the end of the day, you might notice that if that one is speeding and he's not careful, you have an accident. So speed is the rate at which something is running or moving. And for our car, the thing that measures speed in our car is called what? Speedometer. Now, in case any of you goes into your daddy's car or this car, ask them to show you this speedometer. Speedometer is what measures the speed at which they are moving. Tell them, oh, don't forget. When next to the car, then daddy, show me speedometer. Mr. Money talks about speedometer. I want to see the speedometer in the car. And then guess what? When your daddy is moving, eh, you're watching that speedometer. When your daddy starts moving very fast, the speedometer will start climbing. But when it starts moving slow, the speedometer will start coming back to zero. It's, it's something shaped like this, you know, with a particular thing here, and there's different different numbers here. And when you start, this thing can move up and come down, move up and come down the speedometer. This is what measures the speed in your car, all right, or motorcycle. So, the formula of finding speed is what? Distance over time. Now, I know some of you say that everything now is formula. Yes, so everything is formula. Mathematics is simple if you remember the word, the formula. The formula of any speed is what? Distance over time. Now, let's talk about distance. What is distance? Distance is the measure of space between two places. Now, if I want to measure how far is here from here, it's called distance. From here to here, it's distance. From here, so here is distance. Do you understand? So I would say that distance is the measure of space. There's a space between here and here. There's a, there's a space between here and here. There's a space between your parlor and your room. There's a space between Lagos and Kaduna. There's a space between Nigeria and the United States of America. There's a space between Agoju and Alakija. There's a space between the UAE and Abu Dhabi. There's a space between China and Japan. That space is what we call what? Distance. The, 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 the space between two points is distance. Now, measuring it is what distance does. All right? The measure of space between, the space could be a little space or large space, okay? So that is what distance. And the formula for finding distance is what? Speed times time. We have already explained speed. So let's explain time. Now, time is the rate at which a moving object covers a certain distance. Now, you know very well that if I want to move from here to here, the time, when I start from here and move to that place cannot be the same. If I want to go from Agoji to Alakija, I will go to my tree. When the place you start, even if I move from here to here now, there's, there was a time. There was a time it took me to move from point A to point B, from point B to point C. A, they, they, even though there's a distance covered, at the same time, there's a time it took me to move from one point to another. Am I communicating? So the 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 the, the, the time the the, the 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 time talks about what? A, the rate at which a moving object covers a certain distance. The distance could be from close distance or what? Far distance. But whichever way it is, how long it took you to get there is what time talks about. How far talks about distance. How long talks about time. How fast talks about speed. What did I say? How far talks about distance. How long talks about time. And how fast talks about speed. Let's look at some example here, okay? A train traveled 56 kilometers in two hours. At what speed was it traveling? Now, let's say we should find the speed. Speed is what? Distance over what? 
time of which your distance your distance is what? 56 kilometers and your time is 2 hours am I communicating? your distance is 6 kilometers your time is what? 2 hours so now the speed you put it there, it's going to be 56 divided by what? 2 alright? so 2 here is 1, 2 in 5 is 2 remainder 1 in 16 is 8 so the speed is what? 28 km per hour simple just simple, very simple very very easy, easy, easy. number 2 a car travels from Agot to Alakija at a speed of 10 km per hour in 4 hours find the distance now if you agree with me the distance, the formula is what? speed times what? time now what is the speed? the speed is 10 km per hour the time is what? 4 hours so the distance from the formula it is p times time. So it is 10 times 4, which is equal to what? 40 what? Kilometers. So this car that travels from Agos to Alakija at the speed of 10 kilometers for 4 hours, the distance it covers is what? 40 kilometers. Number 3. Talking about a bus has an average speed. Speed of what? 6 km per hour. Okay? How long? You know, I told you guys that how long talks about what? Fantastic. Talks about time. So the speed is 6 km and the distance is 2 km. So what are we looking for? We are looking for what? Um, time. And how do you find time? The formula is what? Distance over speed. Time is what? 72 kilometers over what? 6. You divide. 2 here is 3. 2 in 7 is uh, 3, right? 3. Then 1. In 12 is what? Six. Isn't it? 3 years 1, 3 years what? 12. So the time is what? It took the time what? 12, 12 hours. That's your answer. This one now is just the formula. Now there's another thing again I want to say. Hmm? Sometimes they can give you your time in minutes. If they give you your time in minutes, don't forget to, for example, if it is the one you are dividing, let's assume they say now that the time is 20 minutes. Are you following me? And your speed is 10 kilometers. If you want to solve this thing now, you know very well that if you are finding that it's distance you are solving. Now, to solve distance now, it's supposed to do 10 times 4. So you're supposed to do 10 times 20, have you? Have you? That is normal thing. But because this thing is in minutes, you have to divide by 62. If they give you the time in hours, just multiply straight and get your answer. Because where students usually find difficulties, when, what of when they give them the time in minutes? Or what of when they give them the time in meters per second or meters per hour? Do you understand? So this is usually made find very, very difficult. You have to make the overall unit, for example now. If this one was hour, like I said, just multiply. This formula they gave you speed times time. You only use it when you have hours. But when the time is in minutes, you have to divide by 60. Yes, yeah, so that is one. Then two. If again now, in this time now, you are supposed to do, let's say, let's say I'm looking for speed now. Alright? And they gave you that your time is let me say 30 minutes all right and your distance is take note of this thing i'm saying it's very important 
Now, I'm, I'm talking about the minute factor. Now, you know that to find speed, speed is what? Distance over time, which means you're supposed to do 56 over what? 30. Now, this is what you're supposed to do to get your answer. But because your time is in minutes now, you have to do times 60 over 1. Yes, times 60 divided by 60. Am I communicating? So that's why I said you have to take note of that. It is very, very what? Important. Now, I know that speed, distance, and time is extremely simple. Yeah, it's extremely simple. But at the same time, you have to also realize that there are some case exemptions. You know, like what do you do when your time is in, is in minutes? Those are, those, that is where we usually have the common cases of this difficulty that students usually have. So, because I think they're giving this kind of exercise, it's very simple now. So, but I can assure you that, you see, if you notice one thing we've been doing all the while, in our other topics we've been doing too, you realize that one thing that it, 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 they all involve is that if you notice everything we've been doing so far, is either times or division. So, that, that settles it. That settles that point I'm trying to make that we need to learn our time table. We need to be able so that we can be able to do it. makes division easy for us. Alright, so that is it for speed, distance and time. Just write it down and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. So it's like, come away next time. Keep learning, keep studying and please stay safe. Mr. Emmanuel signing out. I love you all. Take care and don't play too much with me. Don't play too much. I love you now. <laughs> you know whenever I talk about play, you tell me, ah, oh, Mr. Emmanuel, you said you like play. Eh, I'm not saying I don't like play. I like play, but that was then, but now, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about a lot of things. So, uh, so please, let's keep learning, let's keep sharing, all right? So, in our next class, we'll talk about something very, very exciting. You wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, you wouldn't want to miss it. You wouldn't want to miss it. So, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.